Good morning. <laughs> this morning, I am uh, gonna get ready and talk to you guys because it's been a minute. I know this is probably not something you're interested in, but uh, here I am. I woke up. It's a later morning than usual. Usually I get up at like eight-ish, um, but I don't have work today. So I got up late because I stayed up late eating frozen grapes and watching Matt play Minecraft. Because Ow. I could, what so... The f what the fuck? Hey, 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 stop! It's later than I would like it to be, but I'm gonna get ready and we can catch up or something in case you don't watch my streams. My life has been nuts lately with um, animals and things. Actually, I'm gonna do my hair first. I plugged in the wrong one. <laughs> my plan for today is do this to film this video. Um, and then I have to go to Michael's to get some craft stuff for stream today. And then I have to go to Petco to get dog food and to get mice because I'm feeding live today for the first time. I have two Broadwing Hawks in rehab right now. Their names are Dip and Dot. Absolutely wonderful. Um, they started flying on a creance 10 to 15 feet within the past couple weeks, and now they have to start on live prey. And if they do really well on live prey, then they can be released um, within the next few weeks. But we'll see. Today's the day to test it. So I have to go get live mice today and feed live and see what they think about that. Other updates from the rehab center. Yesterday I released five cottontails on stream. That was exciting and very Ready cute. Cottontails are really cute. Bye. My straightener is too hot, if you care. Uh, sorry, I don't. My hair's already damaged as shit. I'm just making myself look a little less crazy. There's no process. There's, you guys don't care. Um, what else was, oh, the rehab center. Yeah, okay, so I've been doing lots of work with birds. Exciting bird updates from the rehab center. Um, there are two crows that came in imprinted. Um, so they're gonna be educational ambassadors. So I have crows to train, which is really exciting. Um, and more sad news from the rehab center. Well, it's kind of cool, but it's sad because they're dead. Um, I've done a bunch of dissections lately at the rehab center. I dissected a fawn that came in because it was bit by a rattlesnake because we wanted to see if there was uh, damage on the internal organs from the neurotoxins or hemotoxins. Um, so we took it apart and you could see the blood clots and the arteries. It was like, there were organs that were black that were not supposed to be black. It was crazy. Um, then yesterday I dissected a cattle egret um, that had parasites and a broken wing. And then I also dissected a great horned owl yesterday that had bone cancer and it was crazy. The smell was insane of just like rotting flesh. It was so gnarly, but the owl had bone cancer in, in one of its wing, like right at the base of the humerus. And so the bone had just been like jellified. It was like squishy and there was flesh that was just falling off around it. It was crazy. So there's that. I've done lots of dissections at the center. Also from the center. Sorry, this is a lot for the morning. Good morning. You could see the blood clots in the arteries, parasites, bone cancer, rotting flesh. Good morning. <laughs> Start off our day talking about this. Um, I almost got a snake. That was a uh, I put a lot of thought into, into that. So I have this coworker who had a, I don't know if it's a clutch of ball pythons, but really cool. She had a few color morphs and then a few leucistic pythons. Um, and she offered me a baby because they were just, they just hatched out. And at first I was like, that's sick. Yes, because I love snakes and you know, I wasn't really looking for one, but it kind of fell into my lap there. So I was like, yeah, that would be awesome. But then I thought about it a lot more and I was like, wait, how ethical is it to breed snakes for color? 
So I talked to my snake friends. I talked to Dr. Michael Dobbins. He's been on the podcast. I talked to Dr. David Steen, who's been on the podcast. He studies snakes. Um, and he's the founder of the Alongside Wild Foundation. I talked to them and they both said that snake breeding is actually really, really unfortunate and the pet trade is super, super damaging to exotics, which is something that I knew in the first place, but I never really grouped in breeding snakes into that category. But I talked to, to Dr. Steen about it and he was like, yeah, that's not good. Um, so I was like, oh shoot, I don't want to spread the wrong message to my audience by having a pet snake that was bred for color because I don't want them to see it and think, oh, that's so cool. I want a snake that looks like that. I didn't want to get a snake and then have my audience think, I want a snake that looks like that. And then go out and support the pet trade and um, people breeding snakes for color. And then I also did more research and I found out that breeding snakes for color, there's this variation called spiders, or th that's the color in, in the snake. So you call it a spider ball python or whatever. Um, I found out that they, that they end up having a lot of neurological issues to the point where in the, the herp community, they call it a spider wobble, which is where their head wobbles because their balance is so poor. And um, breeders are aware of it and they still breed spiders. And then they advertise their spiders to have the least amount of wobble, which is not good um, and not good for the snake, good for the person because they get a cool looking snake, I guess, but not something that I wanted to promote on their platform. So I decided against a snake. Um, now that it's been nine minutes and I've talked through pretty much all the things that I was thinking about with very little structure and I don't know how this is going to come together and I'm sorry. Um, let's just talk about, I don't know, something else. Um, I think I went through that too fast. I think I spoke too fast and with, I, I feel like I talked like I was streaming, but you guys don't really know what's going on. I should have been more uh, structured in how I talked about that, but uh, sorry. I've been living in Texas for May, June, just like what, two and a half months or something like that. I actually really, I like it here a lot. It's beautiful, but it's so damn hot, like 106 degrees kind of hot. And that makes it really hard for me to do a lot of the, like, cause my life, so much of it is outdoors with uh, the wildlife rehab, with my broadwings, my horse, my dogs. So much of it has to be outside and it's so hard to function outside in 106 degrees. And my bodies aren't used to it. So I've been getting super tired lately and I don't really know what to do about that. People have told me that it'll just, uh... oh, I didn't turn this on. Is that better or worse? Damn it, that's better. I had it plugged in and everything. Should I start over? No, I don't want to start. Okay, forget it. Fuck. I'm not starting over. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, my body's not used to it in Texas. Um, so I don't really know what to do about that. Besides, uh drinking more water and trying to stay cool outside. Anyway, Texas is good, but it's really hot and I'm kind of homesick, but I can't go home because I have dogs and hawks and a horse and uh, Corona. No, I don't have Corona, I have, but I can't fly because of um, corona. This, by the way, this is for those of you that bully me and call me oily. It's making me less oily. So thank you for that complex. Uh, something that I really, something that I really needed in my life. I appreciate that. And if you're new here and you didn't know that was a thing, it's not. Today, I'm going to Michael's and I'm getting clay. I think I'm just going to get air dry clay because it's cheaper and I don't have to bake it, obviously, which is easier. And I kind of want to make a Peepo Village. I did a test, oh, I'll show you. I did a test run the other day. I made a Peepo in a boat. <laughs> it looks kind of scary, I understand. And this is with oven baked clay and then like acrylic paint. But I just want to make so many of them. And then I want to make them a village and I want them to live there. I don't really, 
I don't know. I think it would be fun and cute. So I'm gonna do that on stream today. Other things that I do on stream. Um, I react to videos. <laughs> I react to Reddit. No, I do, I do an IRL once a week where I, I've been training the Hawks lately on the IRLs um, because we've been getting them flying. And then I do the podcast once a week, conservationcast.com. Um, if you want to go look at it, please do. Um, I do a conservation podcast every Friday where I talk to an expert, usually an expert on a species about conservation and we raise money for conservation causes. We just surpassed 105,000 105, um, a few weeks ago for how much we've raised on my channel since I started streaming. So that's sick. Um, I'm super, super proud of that. I look, um, I look 12. A 15 year old girl thought I was 17. She was like, when you said you graduated, I thought you meant high school. I've had worse, it's okay. What else to catch you up on? This is so weird, by the way. Usually I like listen to music or I watch a show while I'm getting ready. This is very awkward. I hate filming for YouTube. I hate being in front of a camera without a chat because it makes me feel like a loser and it truly feels like I'm talking to myself. That's why this is awkward because it's awkward. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Um, okay. Yeah. So this is a bad video. I'm uncomfortable. Um, I feel like talking about being uncomfortable makes you more uncomfortable. So I should probably stop. I made it worse. <laughs> I didn't tell you anything about the makeup that I was putting on, but I did it. I look the exact same, um, pretty much. Good, I'm excited about that. My hair looks bad because I was lazy and I didn't actually straighten it, but there's that, I have to change. I have clothes on, normal people clothes on. Normal people clothes because I'm doing normal people things today. I'm going to the pet store and I'm going to Michael's. So I'm not gonna look like a like I'm going on a hike when I go to those places. Cause normally I wear like cargo pants and a t-shirt and my uh, my boots and I carry around my backpack <laughs> like I'm going to go somebody, but not today. Today I look like a normal person. That's it for the video. Sorry it was so all over the place and sorry i didn't prepare better for it i just killed two birds with one stone got ready and talked and checked up with you guys so that's it um see you on my stream twitch.tv slash maya my instagram is maya underscore higa my twitter is maya higa six again sorry this was so scattered um but i'll get better at filming for youtube it's really awkward right now and i think it will be for a while it would mean a lot if you would come to my stream on Fridays when I do the conservation podcast. Uh, that that means a lot to me. So hopefully see you there and you can find out more about the times and the guests and stuff on my socials, which I already said. So see you then. See you at my stream. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. That's it. Bye.